Hey, hey, welcome back to That's Right Recycling. Brother is doing all right. Staying dry. <laughs> it's raining here. Okay. So I got this, uh, I ordered this um, inexpensive uh, heater, heat gun. Because I'm always curious. I'm not always curious, but I'm curious to know what certain things are and what's underneath it. So we got this heat sink, big aluminum heat sink, come out of a plasma TV. And with that piece being on there, they would classify it as dirty. And it's like, you know, it's a heavy piece. So, uh, yeah, it's loose because I've already popped it. So the first day I got this heat machine in here, I was trying it out. And I, I thought these little punches right here. Maybe that was something to go for, but it ended up just running the heat gun back and forth. And with a series of uh, different size flathead screwdrivers, slowly working my way in there. And then I got up to the, uh, the good craftsman. <laughs> Used to be my grandfather's. And then got underneath there and started hitting it with the hammer and kept running the heat. And now I got myself a clean piece. But then... I'm like, well, I got another piece of aluminum and then this black stuff. So today, I'm going to fire up this heater. I got it ready. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't remove this piece of aluminum. Now, I'm not going to play it straight through. There'll be some stops and takes because I don't know if this will take five minutes or two days. So, stay tuned. I don't know. Pretty quick for an expensive. Oop, my fingers are already hot. I got it started at 800 degrees. It started at 275 and it popped right up. I got a smaller step on there. 800 degrees may be excessive. I don't know. I'm just figuring this, just getting this and figuring it all out. I might as well use the heat sink. At least at this level, I can see. I know if it starts melting, then that's no good. This tip might be too small. I don't know. It's all trial and error. We'll just start on the corner. You can see everything, so now I gotta work around the camera. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're starting to get soft. Let's get going a little more. <clears throat> Slow as we go. Curiosity, that's all it is. For science, for what the unknown, what's underneath there? Let's turn the fan up. I'm gonna turn the fan up, hopefully, being restricted. <laughs> it's only day, it's only the second time I've used this. I'm still learning. Right, I'll be back when I get a little more progress because I don't want to bore you to death. Alright, so I used some e-waste to set this up. I definitely think I need to change the tip out because uh, there's not much going on. A little bit of melting going on. It's at 800. So let me change the tip out and see if we get a little more progress. Now, ideally, it'd be really nice if I had a heat pad or like a hot plate. I could just set this side on the hot plate cook it off and of course I'd have to do it outside and it's raining today all right so I took the heater started doing it like this of course it turns on automatically <laughs> so I put that back there so it goes back to sleep so I heated it up for a good solid 12 minutes like I said the hot plate would be better and this is just an experiment this is not a how-to video by all means, you definitely want to have gloves on and be in a proper ventilated area. So, anyways, I heated up for 20 minutes. Not much was going on. So, I took my cutters, tried to chisel, tried to break some pieces off. I broke a few pieces off. Then I took the back of the claw hammer, gave it a couple smacks. 
There's definitely some kind of chip, some kind of chips or something underneath there. But it's not a gold baseboard, it's a copper baseboard. So, in short, it took me 12 plus minutes just to do that little section. <laughs> and to do that whole thing, I will think I'll wait till next month, order me a hot plate. It should be done raining and freezing by next month. Put this right on the hot plate. Get me some good fireproof temperature rated gloves. And we'll finish this video up. Thanks for coming in. Stay tuned for part two. Take care.